Hey, girl. How you holding up? Is Philip still bugging you? No, you have no idea. It's been a nightmare. It's like he couldn't take no for an answer. Seriously? It's not really that big of a surprise. He's just a little out there, you know? It's been three weeks since we broke up, and he's still texting me. Not cool. Way uncool. You totally need that wine. I forgot about it. Let's grab some drink. That sounds amazing. I could really use a night out. You at the bar in 20? Um, I think it's your turn to buy. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> Bye. I'm Melissa Davis. Hi, uh, John Anderson. <laughs> yeah. Can I come in? Oh, yes, of course, please. Come on in. Thanks. So, this is it. It uh, needs a little work. This is, this is insane. God, look at this view. The place is pretty great. The table and the chandeliers are here, but other than that, it was just like this. Wow, yes. This is wonderful. Open kitchen, um, yeah. This is gonna look really great with what I had in mind. Um, Travis said you were looking for something a little more contemporary, mm -hmm. so I took the liberty of putting some ideas together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are terrific. Found some pictures of the interiors online. Oh. I can tell you put a lot of work into this. I'm a pilot. I travel a lot for work, so too much detail is wasted on me. I appreciate the simple detail here. And yeah. I like this one a lot, too. Oh, yeah. This is my favorite. And look, mm -hmm. this setup. These are definitely in the right direction. <laughs> it's like you read my mind and you made it better. Oh, thanks. Would you like to see the bedroom? Oh. What? Would you like to go see the space where the bedroom will be so that you can do your job? <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Wait, I have the job? Are you sure? Do you no, want to? Your designs are amazing. This is exactly what I'm going for. You're, you're perfect for the job. Special delivery. Oh, hi, Travis. Got the towel for the upstairs bathroom. Hey, man. How are you? Good. Yeah. Got a little yep. plaster there. Thanks. You were right about Melissa. Oh, he says that to all the girls. That's so. not true. I'm just <laughs> You're the best contractor I've ever worked with. Isn't I won't agree with both. You two are quite the duo. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm gonna get started on this. See you up there? Yes. Cool. Have fun. So, um, do you want to show me the rest of the house? Yes, if you agree to have dinner with me tomorrow night. <laughs> I did it again. So that we can discuss the design, uh, furniture, carpet. Right, business dinner. Mm -hmm. Um. Of course. Okay. Uh, do you mind if I take some measurements? And then I'll show you around. Okay. And then this whole thing of pink paint, it just splat all over my white shirt. <laughs> and then you know Beth, she's fuming. And the clerk looks at me, she's like, you don't have to pay for that. <laughs> what a saint. Yeah, she actually gave us two free gallons of paint and we finished the wow. family with it. <laughs> Miracle. <Wow>. Miracle. Oh, <laughs> Beth. I mean, you never tell me that story. Yeah, I have these flashes of memory sometimes. Yeah, me too. Guys, get in. 
a photo to celebrate this job. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and cheers to Travis. Cheers. Oh. Thank you for this gig. Really appreciate it. All right. Cheers. You're welcome. Cheers. <laughs> okay, Travis, that was great. Love the story. Thank you. It had depth. I cared about everybody in it. But here's the thing, ma'am. Tell us more about this hot new client. Please commence to details. Well, there's nothing really to tell. He uh, hired Travis to remodel his house, and then Travis, of course, referred me to decorate. And? And um, he offered me the job. Proceed. <laughs> and he invited me to dinner tomorrow night to go over color schemes and patterns and... And to talk about how many children you want? How tall is he? Does he have great arms? And please tell me about his six pack. Is it visible? Is it nice? Okay, Ash, calm down. I have no idea what his arms look like. It's just gonna be talking shop tomorrow night, okay? You're kidding me. Brown eyes are blue because you love blue eyes. Okay, both of you guys, calm down. All Jeez. right, fine. What's his name? John. Oh. Well, what did you say? She said yes. You said yes, right? Because I'm available tomorrow if you're not, and I will take him out on the town and have a good time and all of that. I said yes. Yay! Really? Yeah, really. Why? Are you jealous? Ooh. Someone's what? jealous. Wow. Oh, it's a little pouty face. Oh, yes. My name's Travis. I'm so no. jealous. Oh, no. my name is Travis. Okay, nice I'm not jealous. jealous. I mean, aren't you the one that told me never to date clients? Oh, and you really took my advice and got right involved with Beth, remember? Yeah, I, yeah, I remember. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. It's all right, it's okay. Um, you know, it's getting late. I should probably get going. Aw, mm -hmm. stay for another beer. Uh, it's okay. I got an early morning tomorrow. Good night, ladies. Good night, Travis. See you tomorrow. Yep, bright and early. Oh, man. Wow. I should have said that. Maybe not. You know, we really need to find a nice girl for Travis. Or at least a really cute puppy. But John, blue-eyed <gasps> man of steel. Okay. So. I walked up to his room. He made his blue eyes. I really like these. Yeah? That's right. Yeah, I showed them to Travis this morning, and he loved them, too. Anyway, that's all I have for now. I just want to make sure you're happy before I start bringing these things into your house. I am very happy, and I have all the confidence in the world you're going to knock this out of the park. <laughs> Speaking of Travis, he said that you're from Ohio? Go Bucks. <laughs> I am <clears throat> from Ohio. I was born and raised there. My parents still live there. They'll never move. My parents feel the same way about Montana. <laughs> oh, you're from Montana. Oh, yeah. Big sky, they own a ranch. So you have horses and the whole cowboy getup? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you fly planes and you ride horses. You're a real modern cowboy. Just don't call me ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Maybe we could go riding sometime. Or we can start with a hike and build up to actually getting on a horse. Well, it's been a long time since I've been on a horse, so I think starting with the hike would be best. <laughs> I don't want to be out of line or intrusive, but um, can I ask you something that's Absolutely none of my business. Ooh, okay. As long as I don't have to answer. Deal. What's your relationship with Travis? Oh, oh gosh. We just work together. That's it? Yeah, well, we've been through a lot. How's that? Uh, well, Travis was the contractor that my best friend Beth hired to remodel her house. Must have done a damn good job. Oh, he did. He's very talented. Maybe I should be having dinner with Travis. <laughs> Maybe you should. <laughs> now, before Travis and I started working together, I used to annoy him with all my opinions on everything. And he finally just ended up hiring me. We've been working together ever since. So that's it? You just work together? That's it. Good. <laughs> well, um, thanks for dinner. It's been really very lovely. The pleasure's all mine.
I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to get to know you better. I hope that doesn't offend you. No, it doesn't. It's just been a really long time since someone's been interested in me. I am. We could go grab a drink somewhere. I have a great bottle of Bordeaux sitting at my house. Been saving it for a special occasion. How about this? How about we save it till after I'm finished decorating your house? That'll be a reason to celebrate. Sounds like a plan. This place is supposed to look like the inside of a sports car. Bucket seats, leather. So what do you think? You're doing a great job. Thanks. But um, art and furniture can't possibly be making you this happy. So things are going well with him, huh? With who? Your new boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. Mm. How many nights have you hung out with him this week? I don't know, like three or four? Three or four nights for three weeks now? That's a lot of time. OK, we're just dating. Relax. With a smile like that? No, there's more than dating going on. <laughs> it's good. Good for you. You deserve it, Melissa. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. So what about you, huh? It's been three years now. Mm. I'm not ready. Hey. Hey, come here. Sit. <sighs> Beth would want you to. She would. And you're a catch. Huh? Any girl would be so lucky to be with you. Really? Really. You know, Beth said before she, she kept saying, Travis, promise me you won't spend the rest of your life alone. Yeah. She said that to me, too. She also said, um, please don't let Travis date any of your trashy college friends. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. She loved you so much. Not as much as she loved you. Yeah, I'm not gonna argue with you on that. <laughs> look, when I meet someone and I have the same look on my face as you have on yours right now, then I'll know it's time to move forward, okay? Yeah, sounds good. Back to work, punk. Ah. <laughs> we got the basement today, too. Great. Be ready. But did he have to let all of New York City get destroyed in the process? It's a superhero movie. Can't you just enjoy the explosions and destruction like of everybody else? Of course not. And then I couldn't bother you with my questions. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of loving someone. Hi. And then having it get destroyed. What happened to that guy, that guy you were dating? Really? That's your segue? Lame. So lame. The lamest. I'm kidding. Um, well, you know, he was perfect on paper. Mm. He was kind, considerate, funny, a successful psychotherapist. Oh, no, not a therapist. Yeah, but he didn't take his own advice. Because about a year and a half in, he stopped calling. He stopped returning my calls. He just disappeared, I guess. So, what about girlfriends? Oh, uh, my best girlfriend's Ashley. You'll meet her if you come to Travis and my anniversary party. If I'm not on a plane, I'll be there. Great. Yeah, what about you, huh? What about your past relationships? There wasn't anyone before you. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Well, my last girlfriend, Phoebe, was smart, funny, gorgeous. Not as gorgeous as you. But after five months, we realized 
We liked each other better as friends. Mm. There's no chemistry. Mm. Nothing you can do about that. No. It's not a problem with us. No. I want you to know that I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to disappear like that other guy did. What I'm trying to say is, I really like being with you, and that there's something about you and about us that's special. And I'm falling for you. Feel the same way? Yeah. But I hate your work schedule. I really hate it. It's the worst. So this may be a bad time to bring up the fact that I have to go back out of town. So I'll leave first flight tomorrow, but then I'll be back by Wednesday. Okay. Hope okay. that's not gonna happen every week. Well, it's not gonna happen every Christian. week. Christian! It's Henry! How you doing? I can't believe I was just thinking about you today. That's weird. Come I don't on. know. Give me a second. How you doing? Listen, listen. How long has it been? <laughs> I don't know. He was convinced I was a friend of his. I guess, I guess I have one of those faces. I don't think you have one of those faces. Hey, look, we gotta get out of here. Come on, let's go to dinner. We're running late. Okay? Give me two. Two? Yep. Come on! Two, coming mm -hmm. at you. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. So what's the deal with this party? Well, it's at Melissa's house, so we pretty much just gotta show up and dress nice. Oh, I'm gonna do some awesome flower arrangements. I was thinking about doing some lighting in the backyard, maybe some like candle displays, something like that. Mm, nice. How's that sound? Melissa? Hmm? Hey. What? Oh, sorry. Oh. Hi. Mm. Hi. Hi. So how long has he been gone this time? How'd you know he's been gone? Because you're depressed. I'm not. Yes, you are. Mm. It's officially predictable. I mean, I miss him, but I'm not depressed. It's a little dramatic. Mm. Every time he's gone, you're bummed out. Where? OK, fine. I hate it when he's gone on these long trips. Am I crazy? I mean, it's only been a couple months. You're in love. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I would. I see how you are when he's around. It's the same way I was around Beth. My cell isn't working. I'm gonna go post something. All right, because it's been, what, a whole 20 minutes since your last post? I'm getting itchy. <laughs> You're not getting any service here. Bye. Me too. So do you love this guy or what? What? You heard me. I think so. I'm happy for you. Oh, yeah, you look really happy for me right now. What's up? I, I just want you to be careful. What do you mean, careful? He's weird, that's all. <laughs> what does that mean? There's just something off about him. I, I don't quite know how to describe it. It's okay, just... Mr. Overprotective, he's fine. We're fine, I'm fine. Maybe I'm overprotective, but I can't help it. And for the record, in my eyes, no guy's ever gonna be good enough for you. Oh, that's sweet. And that's why I love you. But, you know, Travis, I haven't been this happy in a really long time. I know. Can you just let me be happy, please? Okay. Okay. I'm calling this. Let's just go all in. All in? All in. Oh, wow. Trips. Trips. Wait, you won. Boom. Get all the carbs. What?
Hey, just finishing up the install on the stove here. Oh, great. Yeah. Is Melissa around? Over she here. Hey, I missed you. I missed you. Oh. oh. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I wish you didn't have to go away tomorrow. <laughs> Can I help you? Uh, yeah, I, I tried ringing the doorbell. Oh, I'm sorry. I was vacuuming. I couldn't hear anything. Uh, I was just wondering if, if John is home. Uh, no. No, John isn't at the moment. But he does live here. Yeah, I'm sorry. What was your name? Are you his wife? Who are you? I'm an old acquaintance. Oh, OK. Well, if you tell me your name, I can tell John no. you No, <laughs> no, that's not going to be necessary. OK. Listen, if you are involved with John, you're not safe. He's dangerous. Just careful how close you get to him. You still haven't told me who you are. John and I used to date. Oh. But that's over, right? Yes. No, of course. I, I broke up with him four months ago. So what are you doing here? You're not going to? OK. I'll tell John that his ex-girlfriend stopped by. He attacked me. What? He started stalking me after we broke up. And then one night, I was leaving my house, and he attacked me. Fortunately, I was meeting a girlfriend for drinks, and she found me. I, I was lucky. But you might not be. We can't possibly be talking about the same John that I'm dating. So you are seeing him? That's none of your business. He didn't go by John Anderson when we were together. He went by Philip. And then three months ago, he moved to Los Angeles and changed his name to John. OK. Please, you have to believe me. You need to leave right now. I know that this sounds crazy. I know that I sound crazy. But I, I, I promise you, I, I'm not. Just trust me, you are in danger. Please go. Call me. Just don't hesitate to call me. Come in. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Are you okay? I mean, I'm in a bit of shock. Well, from what you told me on the phone, she sounds like a stalker. I've known John for months. Phone. He's a solid guy. And then suddenly his ex-girlfriend shows up to scare off the new girlfriend. I mean, that's weird, right? Mm. I mean, she's a lunatic or something. She sounds a bit off, but John, I'm not sure John is as perfect as you think he is. Oh, OK, well, nobody's perfect, but I don't think he would ever hurt anybody. Did you check him out online? Of course. Standard dating protocol. His social media came up totally normal. Just some pictures of him golfing with friends and some really cute pics of his family. Has he ever shown anger or violent tendencies or? Really? 
No, of course not. All I'm saying is, what if she is telling the truth? Travis, he's really good to me. I would tell you if there was something wrong. There's nothing wrong. Okay, I'm just concerned. Don't get mad. Sorry. Why don't we check out her social media? See what we can find out. That's a good idea. Yeah, um, my computer's over there. Okay. Sorry I yelled at you. That's okay. Uh, what's her name? Um, Carrie Avery. Is that her? No. That's her. Philip, if you're out there reading this, you will pay for what you did to me. The police have arrested the wrong person, they didn't do their job, and Philip Anderson is still on the loose. Gosh, these posts, they just go on and on. My God. She's from Tawny, California. Maybe I should call the Tawny Police Department tomorrow and see if I can find out any information. Yeah, that's a good idea. Do you want to get food tonight? Oh, no, I'm beat. I think I'm just going to take a bath. Okay. I'll just, I'll, I'll head out. Pick you up in the morning. Okay. Bye. Bye. It's Carrie Avery, A-V-E-R-Y. Yes, I can hold. <laughs> hey. Hey. I just got off the phone with the officer who investigated Carrie's attack. Really? Yeah, he said that there was a mugging in town the same week. The guy they arrested for the mugging had a pair of gloves at his house with Carrie's hair on them. What about Carrie? Did they say anything about her thinking John was her assailant? Yes. Despite DNA evidence, she insisted that John was the one that attacked her. What? Yeah. The cop said that she was obsessed with Philip Anderson, and when he broke up with her, she wanted revenge. And then he told me that she's crazy and I should stay away from her. Okay, clearly she's dangerous. If she comes around again, you gotta call me immediately, okay? Okay. Just got some screws in this. Hey, you okay? Yeah, it's just this whole John Anderson, Philip Anderson thing. It's odd. I'm overthinking, aren't I? Well, I'd probably change my first name if my ex started stalking me. Yeah. Are you going to talk to John? Yeah, I'm going to ask him about all of this. It's not like he's going to tell you the truth if he was lying the entire time. He's not lying, Travis. You heard what the police said. She's crazy. Still, when you talk to him, it should be somewhere public, OK? You shouldn't be alone when you talk to him, or to her, for that matter. You're right. I invited him to our party. If he shows up, I'll ask him about it. Good. Well, it's a big deal, third anniversary of your company. I wouldn't miss it. Oh, how was your trip? Uh, flight to New York, car to the hotel, wake up in the hotel, airport, flight to London, then Paris, then Geneva, more hotels. Really, it's all tedious till I get back to you. Thanks. Wow, London, Paris, Geneva. <laughs> how exciting, all the places you see. Well, it would be, but I'm always working, so I don't get to see anything, which is why next month, I'm gonna take us to Paris. What? 
Are you serious? Paris? Well, I get free airfare. So the only thing I had to do was book the penthouse at the Ritz. The penthouse? Mm. Hey, excuse me, everyone. I'd like to propose a toast to my magnificent and talented business partner, Melissa, who's not only a visionary, but also knows how to throw a damn good party, right? <laughs> yes. Come here for a second. Come over here. <laughs> Yay! Aww. Yeah. Okay, so in celebration of our three years together. Three years. Wow, wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'd like to present to you a token of my undying gratitude. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, I'll open it. <laughs> I'm gonna open it right now. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a bedazzled box cutter. <laughs> Here. This is really the coolest gift. This is what every woman would ever wish for. At yeah. least me. Right. You'll never have to use mine ever again. It's going to be great. That's right. Yep. I have my own. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, this <laughs> Oh, you nailed it. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Did you talk to him? No, I didn't. He just got here, so, mm. you know, giving him a second. Go talk to him. Uh, I... Okay. Here I go. Go get him. Hey, hey, what are you doing out here by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Who knew that the way to a girl's heart was through construction tools? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, he really gets me, doesn't he? You two have a special relationship. <laughs> yeah, we do. Makes me a little jealous. What? Oh, no. Don't be ridiculous. Hey, at least you've met Travis. I haven't even met any of your friends. I didn't know you were interested. Of course I am. I feel like there's so much about you that I don't even know. I don't know anything about your past relationships. I told you about Phoebe. That's it. It's my only significant relationship. And there wasn't anybody else. Oh, now that is a loaded question. What do you want to know? I want to know about Carrie Avery. I don't know who that is. You never dated a girl named Carrie? I don't know where you're going with this, but it's a little concerning okay uh a woman showed up at your house when you were gone she said she used to date you and she wanted to talk to you i, I don't know carrie i swear maybe you know her from montana what why why montana that's where you said you're from right yes but i don't know carrie from montana what did you tell her I, I just told her that you were gone. What else did you tell her? I, I didn't tell her anything, John. You're sure? Yeah. Look, I'm sorry, but I don't know who that could have been. It's no big deal. I just, I want our private life to be private. Yeah, sure. OK. Mm -hmm. What did she tell you? Uh, she. I mean, it's hysterical. She said that you, um, she said she broke up with you and then you stalked her and attacked her. What else did she tell you? Because it's absolutely not true. I will find out who she is, but in the meantime, I don't want you working at the house alone. Okay, it's fine though. I'm not afraid of her. I don't think she's coming back. Where was Travis? You want me to go talk to him? No, you don't have to talk to him. I already told him, okay? Just forget that I ever brought it up, okay? Hey, let's go to the party, okay? I want you to meet my best friend, Ashley. I've been telling you about her, remember? All right. She's so much fun. I've told her all about you. You're not even gonna believe the things that come out of her mouth. Okay. Uh, but she's pretty sweet. She's very successful on social media. Okay, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, man, I've been waiting. Ashley, this is John. Hi, John. Act natural. My name is Ashley. <laughs> I've heard a lot about you. Well, um, if you heard good things, they are all true. Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> well I will be right back. Excuse me. Of course. Okay. 
Thank you. Oh my goodness. Is your night going okay? Yeah, it's going great. We need to get to know each other a lot better. <laughs> we can. Can I get you something to drink? Yes, uh, Chardonnay, please, and snacks while you're at it, if you don't mind. Coming up. Great, right, thanks, you're such a gentleman. What happened? Okay, he seemed really rattled, and he didn't even remember telling me he was from Montana. Why would you lie about where you're from? I don't know. And I don't know if he's the one that actually attacked Carrie, but I know he's hiding something. Are you sure, Mel? Yeah, I'm sure. I, I think, I mean, I don't know. I think I'm sure. Am I just being paranoid? You gotta trust your instincts, okay? We gotta look into this dude. And maybe you should call that girl. Carrie? Yeah, try to find out everything she claims to know about John. Look, we're gonna get through this, okay? Is everything okay? John, <gasps> scare me. <laughs> I'm sorry, why would I scare you? No, you didn't. I mean, the door just flew open, it's fine. I was looking all over for you. Are you guys sure everything's okay? Yeah, um... Yeah, we were just having a moment of reflection on our three-year journey together. Sorry to keep your girl. <laughs> oh, I don't mind sharing her with you, Travis. Hmm. We should go back to the party. Actually, I've got some work to catch up on, so I was going to tell you that I'm heading out. Busy day tomorrow. Yeah, but thanks for inviting me. It was great to celebrate with both of you. Travis and I'll be working at your house tomorrow. Good. I don't want you working there alone. You won't be there? I'll be in and out. Oh, okay, well, uh, listen, if I don't see you tomorrow, then I'll just give you a call. Do that. Put them on the bed? Yep. Can I draw your name? Oh. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh. Wait for it. I'm so proud of you right now. Boom. Boom. <laughs> this is a great day. This is really great. Oh, great. Shut up. <laughs> oh, no. Did I order these colors? That's coming. Hey. Um. <clears throat> Do you like the pillow? Yeah. They're bright, colorful. I think we should say no to the pillows. So I'm gonna go run errands mm -hmm. for a little bit, but I'll be home if you wanna have dinner before my flight. Oh, I think that we'll probably be working here. I hope so. Did you have a chance to check his car? No, he's been circling like a hawk. I'll, I'll check when he gets back. Okay. You should go check out the office right now. Yeah, good call. Yeah. Will you just keep an eye out for me? I'll watch the garage. Okay, I'll be right back. you're running errands. I was until I realized I left my wallet. Um, did you see Travis? He's hanging lights in the guest bedroom. Uh, no, I didn't because I came in through the back. What? What are you looking for on my desk? Oh, uh, I, I need to find a pair of scissors because one of the drapes downstairs is a little bit longer than the other. You probably didn't even notice. Are you sure everything's okay? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? You seem anxious. I do? 
Oh, I, I mean, I'm a little anxious. I just want to make sure we finish on time. Um, I think our extracurricular activities have slowed us down a bit. I'm not in a hurry. Uh, I know, me, me either. But um, I just want to come in on schedule. Travis does too, because you're not our only client. Right. I understand, but you, you tell me if something was wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Hey, Mel. Hey, there you are. Um, I need your eyes on the guest room. First. Duty calls. Thanks. Scissors. Thanks for meeting me. Of course. Uh, well, I, uh, I talked to John about you. You did? Wow. And? And he said he didn't know who you were. Of course he denied it. But I know he was lying. I could see something in his eyes. Some flash of recognition. I know he was lying even though he said he wasn't. Yeah, well, he thought I was dead. So I'm sure it came as a surprise to know I'm still alive. I also contacted the Tawny Police Department about your case. Good. That's the first thing I would have done. The guy they arrested was Willie Ross. He was the town druggie. He robbed a woman the same week that I was attacked and the cops pinned it on him. What if he did it? No. You see, John was wearing a pair of gardening gloves when he attacked me. They found the gloves in Willie's apartment with my DNA all over them, but I know that John planted them there. He's vicious and he's smart. Okay, why did he move here then? Because he knew the cops would question him, so he ran. It was so much worse not knowing where he was. Did you tell the police you were being attacked? Yes, of course I did, but he had an ironclad alibi. Listen, he wasn't just trying to scare me, he was trying to kill me. The idea of him doing that to someone else. Carrie, look, I'm really sorry that this happened to you. But I'm just, I'm having a really hard time accepting the fact that this man that I've been seeing could do something like this. He takes long trips. He's gone for extended periods of time. He was always disappearing on me. He said he was a pilot, that he traveled for work. He's not a pilot. I know John's lying about something. I just can't believe that he attacked you. Look, it was dark, but I can assure you it was him. And if I were you, I wouldn't wait to find out. I, um, <clears throat> I looked through one of his credit card bills, and I saw that he's been flying to Melford every week, Monday through Thursday, and coming back here over the weekends. What's in Melford? I don't know. I was hoping you could tell me. I I'm sorry, I've told you everything that I know. anything out? Not a lot, but definitely something we should look into. He didn't see you, did he? No. So I went through his car and I found some blank legal pads and some magazines, and then I found this booklet from DeVarro University. It had staff on the front. I didn't have time to look through it. Okay, well, um, pull up DeVarro's website. Maybe we can find him there. And go to professors. Usually they have pictures online. Well, oh my God. Who is Christian Wellesley? That's John. Christian Wellesley is the head of neuroscience at 
DeVry University in Milford, California. He's been teaching for 15 years. He's about to publish his first book. John's a neuroscientist? The other day at the park, there was a man that called John Christian, and John acted like he didn't know who he was. Maybe that's why he attacked Carrie. Maybe he thought that she found out that he was lying about his life, and that's why she dumped him. That's impossible. Look, we don't know who this guy is, or if this is John or what, but we need proof. We need proof that John is Christian Wellesley. I have to find out. Wait, what? No, are you, are you crazy? No, 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 no. Are you crazy? It's way too dangerous. There's only one way to find out. I have to go to DeVry University and see for myself. We'll call the police, OK? Travis, the police aren't going to do anything. It's not a crime to change your name. OK, I'll go. If I go, it's excusable. But Melissa, if you're gone, John will be suspicious. Travis, I should have never let you get involved in this. Mel, let me help. All right. He said he was going on a business trip tonight, but I'm sure he's just going back to Melford. OK. I'll drive up tonight. When I find something out, I'll give you a call, OK? Be careful, all right? OK. Shouldn't you be at the airport? Tonight. I wanted to see you before I left. Did you know your doorbell's broken? Uh, no. No, I didn't. Hmm. Mind if I come in? Of course. I called you. Oh, I know. I got really busy. I started this really big project. I'm sorry I didn't call you back. Is everything all right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Why wouldn't it be? You just seem on edge ever since that woman showed up at my house. Oh, yeah. Well, that freaked me out a little bit. I'm sure you can understand. Do you mind? No, go for it. Why didn't you tell me that's what was bothering me? I thought we talked about all of it, and it was fine. Yeah, we talked about it. It's just a little weird. <laughs> so. Look, things have been moving quickly between us. We're still getting to know one another. You're still figuring out if you can even trust me in that. That has to be earned. So if you need some space, I can take a step back. Yeah, I think, I think so. I mean, for the both of us, s slow it down a little bit. You're an amazing woman. You're smart. You're funny. You're talented. And you're worth waiting for. So I'm not going anywhere. Now that is clever. Why don't I have one of those in my house? I will catch you one. That would be great. Got to catch a flight. Call me when you're ready. Hi, excuse me. Hi. Good afternoon. How can I help you? I was looking for the class schedule and office hours of one of your professors, uh, Dr. Christian Wellesley. Are you a student here? Grad student. Do you have an appointment? No. Then you know how busy Dr. Wellesley is. No, I did not know that. 
I'm feeling generous today. Here you go. Contact info's on the sheet. Thank, thank you so much. Are you almost ready? What's your food mood? Ooh. Chinese. Ooh, yes, please. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Come on. Have you seen my phone anywhere? Um, oh, there it is. I'll get it. You finish. Did Travis call? Yep, just missed him. <sighs> you did? Mm hmm Damn. Straight to voicemail. Is everything all right? He went to look for John. Why? He's working on his house. Yeah, so um, we think that John might be lying about who he is, and Travis went up there to find out if it's true or not. Where did he go? Melford. Ooh, the vortex of no cell phone service? Girl, my cousin lives there, and even the Wi-Fi is on crutches. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. You'll probably hear from Travis again when he drives about 10 miles out of town. I'm really worried about him. Why? He just doesn't have cell phone service. Maybe I should go up there. Why? What is going on? Oh, it's a long story. I'll tell you over food. You'll hear from Travis again when he realizes he's miles away from any working cell phone tower. Now, what's going on? Oh, okay, so the other day, I was working at John's house and this woman showed up. Oh. She said that she was his ex-girlfriend. John! What? 
Honey, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you get lost? Be gone an awfully long time just for a bottle of wine. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm sorry I didn't pick up the wine because I got a call from my booker. There's a speaker who dropped out of a conference in LA and they want me to fill in tomorrow. What? You just got back. I know, I'm sorry, but it's only gonna be two days. Are you sure you can get a flight this late? No, all the flights are booked, so I'm gonna have to drive, which means I need to get my suitcase, which means that, hi. No. I'll make it up to you, okay? Can I help you get anything up there? No, I'm good. I'll call you when I get there. Drive safe. John, you scared me. I didn't mean to scare you. You did. I thought you had a flight. Get canceled. Oh, okay. You following me or something, John? Why would I follow you? <laughs> I didn't know you ran here. I've never seen you here before. I thought we were supposed to be taking some time from each other. I know, I'm just going for a run. Sorry. Hello? This is she? What? Oh my god. When? Um. Uh, is he okay? Okay, uh. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'll be right there. That was Travis's dad. Travis was in a car accident. Oh my God, is he all right? No, he 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 drove off a roadside cliff along the coast, and Melissa, he was thrown from his car. I'm so sorry. He was airlifted to Los Angeles for emergency surgery. They don't know if he's going to make it. What can I do? I I don't know. I, I I have to go see him. I think I don't. You shouldn't drive right now. You're upset. What are you doing, okay. John? Let me let drive you. Go. Let me okay. drive you're you. You're hurting okay? me. No, I'm protecting John, you. John, let you're upset, go of me. You shouldn't drive right now because let it's dangerous. Me. Let me. I understand that. I'm sorry, ma'am. He's going to be in surgery for at least two more hours. There's nothing you can do. <sighs> okay, can you just please tell me what kind of surgery he's having? I just want to make sure that he's okay. Sorry, all I can tell you is it's going to be at least two more hours. Okay, thank you. Melissa, can you come and meet me? Hey. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. I am so sorry about Travis. He has surgery for two more hours. There's nothing I can do, so I just feel really helpless. Well, I'm happy that you called me. We're gonna figure it out, okay? I can't think. I can't go home because John showed up there unexpectedly and showed up on my morning run. I think he's following me, I don't know. Did you see him? No. Listen, I already called the Murphy police and the LAPD. I asked them to check the tire tracks around the scene of the accident to see if they can match them with John's SUV. He's not getting away with this. Thank you. Is Travis gonna be okay? Hope so. What do you think Travis found out there? I think he found out that John isn't Philip or John, but he's someone that works at DeVry University. 
I don't care about that. All I can think about is Travis. I just want him to be okay. That's all I can think about. And I want to make John pay for what he did to you and Travis. He will not get away with it. Thank you for being here. You're the only one that understands. Unfortunately, I do. Do you want me to stay the night with you? Oh, no, that's sweet. I'm just gonna go back to the hospital. Crash there with Travis. Okay. Well, call me if you need anything. No, he still had visitors. Is he gonna be okay? That man's a fighter. I can tell these things. So he's gonna pull through then, right? Well, I can't answer that, but if anyone can, it's Travis. Uh, I'm so sorry this is gonna be upsetting, but visiting hours are over in five minutes. Oh, no, I'm, I'm like family to him. I was just gonna sleep here. Typically, and... I would let it slide, but my boss is on the floor tonight, and... Please. But I'm sorry, sweetheart. Five minutes is all you got. Hey, I can't stay, but I'll be back tomorrow, okay? Someone's in my house. Please come quick. Stay on the phone. We're sending help. Okay. Hello? Hello? Hello?
Carrie, are you here? Carrie? There are 42 John Andersons in the LA area, and we don't know which one's yours. The social media accounts you directed me to, they've been deleted. Did you go to his house? We sent units by the house. No one was there, of course, but we'll continue to check back. Now, we did look at public records, and we found out that this residence was purchased by a private trust four months ago, a Fenneman Trust. Does that ring a bell? No. Well, we're looking into individuals at the trust now, but until then, we have, we have nothing to go on. I mean, there is no John Anderson that matches your description, no evidence that he exists. What about Christian Wellesley? We looked into Mr. Wellesley. He is a prestigious professor at DeVrau University in the neuroscience department. He's got no criminal record, and he has a residence in Melford, California, where he lives with his wife and child. What? What? I'm sorry, you should... He has a wife and a kid? Yes. Oh, my God. What is it? Travis found out about John's family, and that's why he tried to kill him. He killed Carrie Avery. He attacked me in my own home. He, Travis is in a coma. There's nothing that you can do? Melford police have promised they will interview Mr. Wellesley, his wife, and his colleagues at the university. Good. Uh, he might have a bandage or a cast on his arm. I think I broke it in our fight tonight. That's good to know. You can't move any faster. I mean, there's nothing at all you can do. I assure you we're conducting a thorough investigation. But until we find this guy, I'd suggest you get a restraining order. Oh, really? How is that possible? You said John Anderson doesn't exist. But Christian Wellesley does exist. I can't arrest him now, but if he breaks a restraining order, I can. So I have to be attacked in order for you to do anything else? You get that restraining order. We'll make sure Wellesley doesn't come within a thousand feet of you. I want to file that right now. It's a smart idea. So this is it. Suspect should have a cast on his right arm. It was broken when he assaulted the victim in her home. Let's go. Professor Wellesley? Yes. How can I help you, officers? I just wanted to ask you a few questions. Do you know Melissa Davis? No, I don't. You taking any trips lately? No, I just work full time here at the university. Where are we on the night of the 28th? Uh, I believe here in Melford. I was probably in my office working on my book. If you'd like to speak with my wife, I'm sure she'll tell you. Yeah, that'd be great. Can we? Yeah, please. OK. 
Okay, I'll be back in a little bit to check us on him. Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> hey, you warm enough? White is not your color, by the way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that that I let you go look for him. It's my fault. I need you, Travis. I need you to pull through, okay? Because I can't lose you. Please. I don't know what I'll do if I lose you. Nurse! No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. Hey. Hey, you're awake. John, he's not. No, John, he's I know, not. I know. I know about his other family. Listen to me, Carrie's dead. John killed her. And John almost killed you. I'm gonna take care of this. I'm gonna end this right now. You need to go to the police. No, I went to the police. And they're not going to do anything. They will, you just have to give no, them I just money. have to be grateful that you're okay. And I have to tell you that I'm sorry that I didn't listen to you, what you said about John. And I need to tell you how special you are to me. It's horrible when we realize how important someone is to you. When you think that... Please don't go up there. You have to promise me. Travis, I have to. Okay? You gotta promise me something, though. You gotta promise me that you're gonna hang in there until I get back. Because you're all I've got. Okay. Because I can't live without you. Say that again. I love you. I love you too. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wellesley. Mm-hmm. Well, if I hear of anything else, I'll call you immediately. Thank okay? you. Didn't write it. His arm was fine. I don't like the wallpaper. Mrs. Wellesley? Yes. And you are? Oh, sorry. I'm Melissa Davis. I'm a friend of your husband's. Oh, well, I'm afraid he's not home right now. Yeah, I know. He's at the university. Um, I was actually hoping that I could speak with you alone. About what? About your husband. It's important. Okay.
How old? She's six months. Ah. It's a beautiful house. Thank you. It was my husband's father's. So, how do you know my husband? I'm an interior designer from Los Angeles, and John hired me. Oh, I think there must be some kind of mistake. We don't own a home in Los Angeles. But the Fennelman Trust does, and Christian is a beneficiary. I don't quite understand. No, why would you? Miss Wellesley, this is going to be really difficult to accept. But your husband has been living part-time in Los Angeles under the alias John Anderson. And when he goes out of town on business trips, he comes to LA. Christian is one of the foremost authorities on neurosurgery. He gives speaking engagements all over the world, not just Los Angeles. He's not Angeles. going to speaking engagements. He's coming to Los Angeles and he's spending time with me. Look, I didn't know that John, that Christian was married. I would have never gotten involved with him. Why are you smiling at me? Because you're not the first woman to come here. What do you mean? Well, sometimes they're students. Other times they hear Christian speak at a conference. You see, Miss Davis, my husband is very charming. Women often mistake his friendliness for flirtation. This is much more than flirtation, Mrs. Wellesley. We've been dating for four months now. Hmm. He told me you might come here. He did. He said that he met a woman at an LA conference that had become, how did he put it, obsessed. He even said that he had to file a restraining order against that him. That is a lie. I filed a restraining order against him. He attacked me in my home. He murdered my friend. I can assure you that I have grown accustomed to women coming after my husband, but I haven't met one so delusional. Your husband is a very dangerous man. I have been married to Christian for 15 years. He loves me, and I love him. I think it's time for you to go now. Have a nice day. Thank you for the tea. you were gonna accomplish. You told her everything you said of a bitch. Do you know the male uh, amygdala is larger than the one found in females? Therefore, men have a more aggressive response to danger. It's an astonishing neurological difference between the sexes that even when women are presented with overwhelming danger, the response is less of that. Men, you appear physically and mentally stronger, yet you continue to come around looking for the best in me. This is the experiment that I have emulated, which is why in the study only confirms my theory that men are biologically and neurologically superior to women, which is why I'm able to dominate them. And that will be the final chapter of my book. Christian! <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know she was going to come here. Well, I think you should call the police. There's laws against things like this. Please help me. He's trying to kill me. Listen to me. This woman is sick, and I need to get her to the hospital. Christian, what are you doing with a gun? Oh my god, you're bleeding. I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, do not call an ambulance. What do you mean? God.
Put your gun down. I said drop the gun. Look, I'm not gonna tell you again. You're never gonna hurt me. You are just like all the others. Weak. Christian! Christian! Did you kill him? Mm -hmm. Lydia, he's been lying to you. He's been hurting other women. He tried to kill me. You have to believe me. Go. Go get an ambulance. Put that in your book. Get napkins when he's setting the table. I'm pretty sure that was your job. <laughs> it was not. It was. It was your job. <laughs> <laughs> you look so much better. How bad did I look before? Did you say Rocky? Did I did not look that bad. Oh, don't make me no laugh. laughing. No yep. laughing aloud yep. at this table. <sighs> I know you're in pain, but I'm just really glad that you're here. I am. And I'm here to stay. I just wish I could have stopped it all from happening. Stop it, stop it. You're one of the strongest, bravest women I know. I don't know about that. John's still alive. John's gonna go away for a really, really long time, especially now that his wife agreed to testify. It won't bring Carrie back. He's not gonna hurt anyone ever again, and that's because of you. You got him. In your home now. It always feels like home when you're here. Hey, what happened at the hospital? <laughs> hey, hey, we're about to eat. Come. Okay, well, you guys are super cute, so I'm just gonna take some pictures. For the record, I knew this was the right hand. Oh, look at you. 